requires a certain level of, you know, uh, sort of anxiety or interest in this, but the facts are the facts. But Ed, you're, you're not listening to me. If it were, if, if it were, Ed, if it were a, well, if it were a government account, they would be saying the same thing. The fact, no, 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 but, well, look, this. All right, and so it went, as you know by now, where she uh, actually asked about what being, uh, having wiped the server clean. She said, you mean with a cloth? Uh, joining us now is Bill Richardson, of course, the former governor of the state of New Mexico, former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. Governor, welcome back, sir. Thank you, Steve. Nice to be with you. Well, we have so much to talk about, and uh, you haven't been heard from on many of these issues, so I'm excited to hear what you have to say. First of all, um, what about Hillary and the server and the FBI investigation and the Justice Department investigation and the revelations that seem to come uh, anew every single day? Well, you know, I think obviously some mistakes have been made uh, by, by the campaign. But in the end, Steve, I think the facts are going to be that uh, there was no classified information. She was the Secretary of State. She would know what is classified. Oh, but that's a good point. And Not to interrupt, but here's the deal. Her defense is that no cla no, nothing marked classified ever originated from her or was sent by her or sent to her. That's the whole, that's her argument, that nothing at classified at the time was stamped classified. But as you just alluded to, as Secretary of State, she would know what's classified. So if we have now ins inspectors generals who say there was classified information, but her excuse was it wasn't stamped, isn't it incumbent upon her as Secretary of State to know what's classified and what's not without a stamp? You know, Steve, we've got to get all the facts here. This thing has gotten so politicized with all these investigations, mainly partisan ones. Yeah, inspector generals, they have that responsibility to look into it. But I predict, Steve, that uh, at the end of the day, towards the end of the campaign, this will not be an issue. The American people care about jobs, the economy. They care about foreign policy. They care about environmental issues. You know, I, I just think right now, because she's a front runner, she's comfortably ahead, she's drawing all this scrutiny. But in the end, uh, I think she's got staying power. She's got several states that uh, are going to be with her kind of voters, women voters, young voters, uh, minorities, uh, you know, maybe some bumps in Iowa and New Hampshire, but in the end, I, I believe she'll be the Democratic nominee. Now, the general election will, I think, be be tight, will be a different story. Right, but let me, let me ask you again, uh, not, not again, but let me ask you about, uh, you know, it's the Justice Department and the FBI that are investigating, and, 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 and it has really nothing to do with the campaign. Now we find out her attorney, David Kendall, had a class, might have had classified things, but he had no clearance. I mean, you've been in, you know, you've been in a position. You were the ambassador to the United States. You were former U.S. Secretary of Energy. Um, the private server, the, the, now they admit it was wiped clean. Hey, the average person, if they, if they want to delete emails, they delete emails. Why would Hillary wipe the server clean before handing it over? Well, you know, Steve, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I can tell you the State Department, it's a huge bureau. I ran the Department of Energy. Thousands of people, thousands of documents, thousands of technology. You know, let's just get the facts here, but uh, I don't believe any strong jeopardizing national security has happened. I mean, she's the Secretary of State. She would know. She would know what is classified. Right, but that's, what again, again, but that's, again, not, and this will be the end of it, but that's my point. Her defense is, I mean, we could assume with all the, the not, not only the inspectors general, but they, they've established that possibly hundreds of the documents that were sent or received by her were classified. Now, they were not marked classified at the time, but to make your, you're making your own argument or making mine. To, as Secretary of State, she should know that talking about drone attacks in Benghazi would be classified, even though it didn't stamp it because she is the Secretary of State. So if it turns out that she sent information that eventually became classified, uh, but was it marked at the time? Doesn't she have to answer for that? Well, yeah, that's that's the case. But let me tell you, bureaucrats love to classify. There's a certain classification, limited official use, which is like nothing, and they classify it. So 
let's just get the facts. I don't think there's any top secret or secret information that that is going to come out. But you know, let's let's get the facts. But in the meantime, Steve, focus on the issues that she's talking about. She's talking about some good issues. She's talking about economic populism, uh, climate change. She's talking about you know not drilling in the Arctic, which I think is a good thing. Uh, she's talking about Wall Street. You know, the, she's she's got good issues out there. Let's judge them. Let's judge the candidates on the issues. Are we? Are you supporting her over uh, the other uh, Democratic? You candidates? know, I'm not. I'm not into it. I'm. A, I'm a. I'm a low-level player now. <laughs> I'm out of it. But you know, at the same time, I think it's going to be. She will be the Democratic nominee. She's very strong. I mean, she's going to be very strong once you get out of New Hampshire and Iowa. In in uh, in Nevada and in, in South Carolina, uh, Super Tuesday, the New Mexico, where there are a lot of her voters, women, Hispanics, uh, the Democratic coalition voters. Uh, you know, New Hampshire and Iowa are important, but but they're not the general population. Yeah, no, I well, okay. So so um, if Joe Biden gets in the race, do you think he will get in? Do you think that would be a good thing? I don't think he'll get in. Uh, it certainly would become a race because he's been a very good vice president. He has a labor base. He, uh, he, he has wide acceptance within the Democratic Party. But I just think, you know, his own personal situation is going to be, uh, is going to lead him not to run. But, but who knows? Who knows, Steve? I still think Clinton would be a formidable candidate. All right. We're talking to uh, Bill Richardson, the uh, former governor. Uh, of New Mexico here on the Steve Molsberg show. I wonder when we come back, I just want to ask him about Donald Trump uh, and uh, the immigration plan and, of course, Iran. And uh, don't go away. We're coming right back.